Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. If you have any of the following three vehicles, I'm talking about Ram Pro Master City, Fiat 500X or uh, Fiat Toro guys with the 2.4 multi air engine. This is a super common engine on these vehicles guys. And if you have engine light on and called P0031 or called P0032, stay with us guys. We'll explain what causes that and how to fix it. Now, it's not very complicated, but uh, we'll show you guys what needs to be done based on our experience at the shop uh, 9 out of 10, 10 times this is the problem guys uh, you can see the engine is out of the car simply because we did an engine replacement and we made about 100 mechanical videos pretty much we took the whole engine apart and we showed you how to replace anything on it another thing guys uh, we're in the process of making about 100 videos for diagnostics, common problems and engine codes. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, I constantly guys get comments in the comment section below where we get all our tools and parts from, uh, where, what scanner we use and recommend and all that stuff. So if you need to buy parts and tools we'll share the links in the description of the video below. This is the scanner that we use here guys every day at the shop. This is our favorite scanner. It works on uh, so many cars guys. Check it out. It works on pretty much almost any car you can think of. We love that thing. Okay, it's amazing. And uh, on this scanner guys you get one year free updates they constantly add new features new cars you can access every computer in your car read the lead codes and see live data so uh, pretty much it's amazing guys now what these codes relate to p0031 and called p0032 they relate guys to upstream oxygen sensors you have two oxygen sensor one is upstream before the catalytic converter one is downstream after the catalytic converter now it's super important guys the upstream oxygen sensor is super important for the uh, way the engine runs because it reads okay the amount of air and fuel in the exhaust and the engine is going to tell okay the injectors how much fuel to uh, to, uh, uh, to add guys to the engine how much air to the throttle body it's going to adjust the timing through ignition timing fuel timing and spark plug timing as well so so many things will be guys affected by upstream oxygen sensor now stay with us next scene you will see the engine with the original black cover before we painted it we painted ours blue to be a little bit different and you're going to see guys okay with the exhaust manifold and the sensors okay and we will show you how to go ahead remove and replace upstream oxygen sensor and where it's located you come down this is your exhaust manifold that says do not touch this sensor right here it's known as upstream oxygen sensor or oxygen sensor one the one right here is known as downstream oxygen sensor or sensor two guys this is the one after the catalytic converter this one pretty much detects if the catalytic converter is doing its job and it's uh, cleaning the air the one before the catalytic converter is the one <coughs> excuse me that tells the engine okay if uh, uh, it needs more air more fuel so we can adjust all that now how you guys remove those things okay let me show you how to remove and replace the upstream oxygen sensor now you will guys follow the, the wire okay right here and on the back side of the black wire okay right there there is a thing that you press in and you pull out and you disconnect it after you guys disconnect it okay there is a special socket that we use to remove the oxygen sensor this is guys the socket you can find the link again in the description of the video below that socket is super strong it's very handy and easy for oxygen sensors otherwise you can severely damage them and you may not be even able to remove them after you damage them get on top of the sensor really good okay make sure it aligns get a ratchet so let's go ahead get it out now it might be stuck guys okay it might be stuck quite a bit so you might need to get bigger ratchet okay or breaker bar and once you get it loose okay you can just go ahead and turn that thing okay by hand guys you can see you just go ahead and turn it and pull it out we will have the link in the description of the video below guys to see where you can buy replacement one putting it together guys practically is in reverse order we took it apart make sure you get it tight the new sensors usually will come with pre-treated anti-seize on the thread so that way they will not get stuck next time you need to remove it 
so that's how you guys do it hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out also guys we have quite a few channels our main channel is auto repair guys where we guys grow crazy fast and we have so many uh so many subscribers and we've helped about 60 million people so you can see how much money we saved people hopefully guys you'll check them out thank you for watching and see you guys next time